Welcome to example instrument 7, pitch bend. This one is going to be quite short. The example actually demonstrates how to use the pitch bend function. But to be honest, the, this functionality is a bit swashed over from the MIDI ideas and concepts. So um, it can be used. It is possible to do this, but it is somehow, I don't know, it seems like something from a different time. Anyway, let's get started and let's have a look at it. So I prepared a little bit um, of boilerplate code here. So um, when I press the mouse button, I play a note. When I move the mouse, nothing happens. So let's look into this. Um, each instrument can, um, can be uh, modified with a pitch bend. And um, the, way, the way that it, it does is through this pitch bend function here um, and it's actually very straightforward so when we drag the mouse so when we have it pressed and we are currently playing a note we just want to apply a pitch bend to it um, so there's one thing to know about the pitch bend function and that is um, it needs to um, the value range is 0 to 13 16,384, which is 2 to the power of 14. And that is a very peculiar um, range, I think. And um, that is basically due to the, um, again, like due to the MIDI specifications. So um, I'm mapping the, the Y axis of the mouse, um, the maximum height from zero to maximum height. I'm mapping this to 16,384. 3 to 0, which is um, um, to, to the power of 14 value range. Um, it's still complaining because, um, again, this is also really kind of from the MIDI world still, uh, this, this requires an integer value. So we need to um, map this into or cast the float from the map function into an integer, to a whole number. So now there's 16,384 different um, pitch bend steps. And um, let's, let's, let's hear what's going on when we do some pitch bending. So when we press the button, we still hear the tone. And now when we drag it, we can slightly offset the, the tone. Um, the pitch bend remains active until it's deactivated. The center or the or zero pitch bend is weirdly enough again conforming to um, MIDI is weirdly enough. It's it's the middle between zero and sixteen thousand three hundred eighty-four, which is one eight thousand one hundred ninety-two. So um, when we release the button, the mouse button, we um, we can um, yeah, reset it back to no pitch bend, which is 8192. Well, this is what pitch bend does. One last thing maybe that's really worth mentioning. Um, if you're in a MIDI context, for example, you have a MIDI keyboard with this nice um, pitch bending wheels, I think that makes a bit more sense, or this, this slider t pads or something. Um, that's really like a physical representation of this phenomenon of pitch bending, so, so I, can, I can understand why that makes sense. So if you use the tone engine MIDI, then the pitch bend function method is also available, of course, but then it sends uh, messages to the MIDI device or can even receive also such messages. So um, Essentially, um, that's probably the context in which it makes a bit more sense in the, in the MIDI world than in this synthesized world. However, I don't know, maybe there's a good reason to use it here anyway. Okay, that was it for the pitch bend. Short uh, um, demonstration. I hope you liked it anyway, and see you in the next one.